Welcome back. Today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day, a day honoring the six million Jews and other victims killed during the Holocaust. But you probably haven't heard of the nearly 25,000 Jews who escaped into the forests of Eastern Europe. Documentary producer Julia Mintz is now sharing those stories from those who fought back against the Nazis in her film Four Winters. Take a look. We were Jewish boys and girls fighting against the Nazis. I managed to escape with my camera into the woods. We were part of a network of sabotage sharks. There were groups living in hundreds of miles of wild territory. The pillow was the rifle, the walls were the trees, and the sky was the roof. And Julia Mintz joins me live now on set for more on this. Julia, Holocaust Remembrance Day is often focused on those we've lost. We don't often hear about those who have escaped. So what struck you most as you started combing through these stories of those who fought back? The story of resistance. I mean, from the very beginning, when I discovered for my when I discovered the story of the partisans that there were 25,000 alone in Eastern Europe and Belarus, just this idea to learn about the Holocaust, learn about this history through this portal of those that miraculously escaped and banded together in the forest and fought back against bigotry and hatred and found their way to resistance. And a lot of these fighters were teenagers at the time. Where did they find the courage? What did you learn about that? <laughs> it's a great question. Um, it's interesting. I've really found myself over and again trying to understand that because the big question is who would I have been, you know, if I was a kid, how would I have found my way to manifest that courage? Mm -hmm. And it was really, you know, they had to go through multiple steps before they could even find their way to becoming partisans. And that manifestation of courage, I think, I think it's within each of us is really what I learned. Yeah, there's so much footage, photographs. I mean, we're showing some of it right now. How did you find this all? Mm. It was an international, global search for this footage. We went to archives in Lithuania, Eastern Europe, Belarus, Poland, across the world. And then most significantly, from the individual partisans that I met and I interviewed, I schlepped big flatbed scanners with me into the oh field. Oh, my goodness. And we scanned everything that the partisans had, and they shared film footage and all their collections over their lifetime. It's amazing. So. What made you want to share their stories now? Is there something particular about this timing? Of course, of course. Um, you know, as we see the rise of neo-Nazism and hate and bigotry and violence, I think that now, sadly, but most importantly, that each of us finds our way to not be bystanders, that we stand up. I mean, we're seeing this today in the world, that we must resist. We have to. We have to protect all the beautiful sacredness of our culture, our society. What do you hope people take away from this film? Well, you know, this was the last opportunity to make a film like this. And I really wanted to have the living history live on forever because we're moving into a time of historical memory. Mm. And so the takeaway really is that this is an oral history. The film solely has the partisans themselves speaking, mm. and it doesn't have the intrusion of scholars. Although a friend of mine is a scholar said, well, don't you need me? And I said, absolutely, I just don't need you on yes, camera. but not right now. <laughs> just not on camera, mm. you know? This is the final story. And I think the film is so unique because in telling their final story, they say so many things that they had never shared before. And when people tell their story for the final turn and they hand it off, it's very powerful. Such an important story and told in such a beautiful way. Julia Mintz, thank you. And you can see the film in select theaters now. Find more information at fourwintersfilm.com. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.